Hi, I'm Katie Todd. Thanks for coming to have a look at Katie Todd TV. I thought before we started you might like to know a little bit about who I am as to whether you should even worry about coming to have a listen to what I've got to say. I'm a psychotherapist and I've also been a holistic therapist, so interested in spiritual issues as well as psychological issues. But I actually started my life as a musician. I was a professional trumpet player for many, many years and I played in orchestras. When I was 23, I went with the Australian Youth Orchestra and toured Europe, which was an amazing experience. Played at the Albert Hall and it was wonderful. But interestingly enough, I knew even then, that wasn't for me, that wasn't my purpose. It wasn't what I was supposed to do. So the beginnings of a crisis were beginning to happen. What was I supposed to be doing in my life? I didn't know, but I had gone down that path. So I did my music degree. From that point though, I'd also had chronic health issues, which has been a huge part in my development. I'm an author of three books, but how I got to become an author was a lot down to my health crisis. When I was about 15, 16, I started having chronic migraines. And for about 10 to 15 years, I would be bedridden for four to eight days, a fortnight. I would be vomiting. There was no medication that could work. Mestal medicine couldn't help me. And I was a very angry young lady who didn't realise she was very frightened of the world, very frightened of her sexuality, very frightened of her power, and it was turning a lot of her energies inside in a destructive way. That angst caused me eventually to be told that at 24 I was eligible for the disability pension. I was an invalid, officially, and I never had to work again. That was truly shocking to me. By that stage in my life, I'd been to Europe, I'd studied on a graduate scholarship in Kansas, at the University of Kansas with Rotary for a year. Had an amazing life. Surely it was all in front of me and I could do whatever I wanted. But it wasn't the case. I was feeling crippled and frightened and overwhelmed. What the outside said was not what was going on inside. I was getting more and more ill and every time I had a migraine, the fear was immense because I knew I'd be in such incredible pain that could not be relieved. About 10 months after returning to Australia, having lived overseas for 12 months, I had a huge crisis and had a malignant cancer diagnosed, skin cancer, aggressive, which had been missed by three doctors, but I knew that there was something wrong. At that point, and with my first disastrous Hades relationship behind me, I started to go and get some help. And I went to psychodrama and had some therapy. I thought I might go just for a few months, whatever, and I'd be sorted. I always knew I was a bit dysfunctional and I needed some help. However, it turned out that was the beginning of a 23 year journey. So 23 years later, at the age of 47, here I am. I've done an enormous amount of work on myself, been passionate about it, explored lots and lots of uh, avenues. Some worked brilliantly, some less so, and I've pulled them all together to create my unique way of seeing who we are and what we're here for. I'm now migraine free. I've also been married for 18 years and divorced, had three kids and been ill on and off through that and been very challenged in that relationship, been on my own as I say for three years and then recently just married the love of my life, which I was determined to do. I was not going to live this lifetime and not find out what real love and soulmates were all about. I couldn't teach it and have people have fabulous relationships if I hadn't lived it myself. So I've had many dark nights of the soul. I think they're my best qualification. I have three degrees, but for me it's where I've been personally, where I've had to go to, to find who I am, to know what I'm here for, to learn to love and accept myself. That was the key to my work. About seven years ago, I realised that people were wanting more evidence about who they were. And so I started looking into archetypes and found I was able to intuitively understand them. So I wrote a book about 112 archetypes which name complex personality types. And we've all got about 13 archetypes. Now, not all my work is archetype-based. Archetype However, it does help me to get to the essence of someone. My passion in life now with my work is to help people know what they're here for. Help them to love and validate exactly who they are, warts and all, as I've had to do, which has had a huge impact on my physical health and well-being. I'm now at the happiest time in my life, bar none with an amazing relationship, an amazing family, fabulous friends. And now I'm so passionate, I want to get out there and talk to as many people in the world as I can, help them with whatever issues they have, 
And I think I've probably been there myself or not. I've had clients who've been there. I've been working as a spiritual psychotherapist for 20 years and I've come across a lot of things. I love people. I love their stories. So the point of this work and these episodes that we're doing on Katie Todd TV is I want to hear from you. I want to know what's going on in your life. Is it parenting? Is it career? Is it health? Is it knowing who you are? Is it healing stuff from your background? Is it healing past patterns? What is it? I don't mind. The trickier it is, the more I like it. I love a challenge. So I would love to hear from you and know what's going on in your life so I can dedicate an episode to you, working out what might be the best way to go forward. There's the resources of my books and other things that we have on offer. I love talking, as you can see, and I love sharing about myself, and I'm an open book. I'm happy to answer any questions about my life as well. My passion now is to help everyone move from cellmate relationships to soulmate relationships, primarily with yourself first, and then with your partner, your kids, and everyone else. And then to live as generously and as lovingly as possible, giving what you've got to the world around you. Be that big or small. That's what we're here about on Katie Todd TV. And I've got some gorgeous guys who work with me here behind the scenes, Clint and Mark, who are helping make this happen. So make sure you send us an email, let us know what's going on in your life, and we'll look forward to talking to you soon.